Ciao a tutti! Today I would like to tell you about uh, one of the main problems we are facing on our coasts and this problem is sea level rise. Sea level we know that is not stable. There are waves, there are tides that make sea level change on a short term and then on the longer term we have changes which are much slower but very important and these are the global mean sea level changes. Let's see some numbers. From 1900 to today, sea level has risen of about 20 centimeters. It was not constant, so we had an acceleration due to the initial melting of Greenland and the mountain glaciers. Then we had a slowdown and we believe that was due to the build-up in the 60s and 70s by big dams on our planet that kept water stored on land. And today sea level is rising at 3 millimeters per year. We know that sea level is rising thanks to two incredible instruments. One are satellites that can ping the sea surface and they can tell us time after time how much sea level has changed. And the second one are tide gauges, which are measuring in harbors and on other infrastructures how much sea level is going up. And we have had some tide gauges since the 1900s. And this is why we can know so clearly how sea level is behaving since a century or more. So sea level rise happens for two main reasons today. The first one is the meltwater coming from ice caps and from mountain glaciers. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, humans started to put in the atmosphere greenhouse gases. And greenhouse gases have had the effect of increasing the temperature on our planet. It is warmer and then uh, the ice melts into water and this water enters into the water cycle and goes from mountain glaciers and ice caps directly to the sea, causing the sea to go up. The second one is uh, less known probably but it's called the thermal expansion. When you heat up water, the water occupies more space. If you think about it, it's very clear. When you put water on a stove, if you feel your pan too much, you will see that water at some point will start to spill. This is because water, when heated up, increases its volume. And this is the same which is happening in our ocean. So basically today, 60% of sea level rise is given by Greenland melting, Antarctica melting and the ice caps melting, and 40% is due to this thermal expansion effect. Sea level rise is a very important issue that we're going to have to deal with in the coming years. We're going to have to build up infrastructure to withstand sea level rise, structures to protect our investments on the coast and the, all uh, the populations living on the coasts. In some places, sea level is exacerbated by the sinking of the land, which is due to different processes, but uh, these are added on top of what is happening due to uh, climate change. So, this is it about sea level rise. If you like this video, follow me on Instagram, follow my YouTube channel, put a like. This is going to help me and motivate me to do more. And if you have questions about sea level rise or any other causal issues, I'm here and I'm going to try to answer them. Ciao a tutti!